So you got my old leaf blower, weed eater, I ain't running. Most likely the carburetor. Um, you could rebuild it if you wanted, but 12 bucks for a whole kit. And it comes with this fuel line, gaskets, air filter, spark plug, more fuel lines and a filter, and then the carb itself. Why not just do that? I just did it to this weed eater here. It runs pretty damn good now. I didn't even have to mess with this new carburetor. It, it just fires right up now. Works amazing. I put a new plug filter in the lines on it as well. But this is one of them things that I feel like people make it seem worse than it is. It's really not too bad. But um, I'll kind of show you how to do it as I go along. So first step, and I've never worked on a still. Um, leaf blower before but um i'm gonna pop this filter off i think it just turns that other one did anyways there was a little uh you can almost see it right there in the front you just pulled on that and then it uh popped out so i'm gonna try that real quick and then uh we'll see if i have to do anything else get this off so I just had to learn how to use my eyes. Anyways, you pinch these and then you pull up towards you and this will just pop right off. Let's see if it just, sli yep, just slides out just like that. I'd take the time, clean this up on weed eaters and stuff. They always get dirty because people neglect them and pop your air filter out. Really, I could reuse this, but that's the original. <laughs> Yeah, this thing is not well taken care of. Most of them are But I have a new filter, so I'm gonna just pop it in. Um, and then the next thing I would do here, if you wanna swap the spark plug, just pop this boot off. Sometimes they're kinda hard, so I just gently, barely, barely pry up on it. And I should pop this seal loose. It's kinda hard to do one-handed, but I think it's coming. Let me set this phone down for a minute. Just a little bit of prying around the base of this, the screwdriver came right off. You don't want to pry too hard. Just kind of break the seal on it. And then uh, let's see what size socket this is. And it's a uh, three quarter, just like that weed eater. So now just pop this out, then uh, throw your new one in. So a spark plug can tell you a lot of things. Um, to me, this one shows that the engine was running a bit lean, but I mean, it's a weed eater. I mean, it is a two stroke, so you kind of want to get it dialed in, but I mean, I don't know. It's got a bit of carbon on there. It's probably running all right. That one was a bit rich, but your elevation changes all that. Um, this could have been running down at sea level it was running rich. This could have been running at, you know, 8,000 feet, and now I'm at 5,000, so it'll kind of compensate for it itself almost. Um, and as far as I know, you can't really jet one of these carburetors. Um, I'm pretty sure these screws change the mixture. Though This one's just for your idle. And uh, if you don't know what idle is, it's basically just how the engine runs when you're not on the throttle. So right here, here's the throttle shaft, not on the throttle, that'd be idle. That's half throttle or whatever. So I'm on the throttle, but yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm sure these change mixture or something. Um, this is a primer bulb, um, but it's a weed eater. Doesn't, you know, or it's a leaf blower. It doesn't need to be like, 100% perfect, it'll be, be all right. Okay, to throw your new plug in, just thread it in, press this boot on, you might hear it click, but that's kind of what it looks like, firmly seated, or, you know, fully seated. Um, it's pretty easy to do, most people can just figure it out. Um, but next step, 
be to pull off these intake nuts and these don't need to be crazy tight these ones are actually pretty loose um, but it's just holding plastic on a metal on a more plastic um, doesn't need to be super tight but these ones happen to be an eight mil that's how it was on that weed eater as well yours could be different so okay behind this air filter housing um, you'll have a gasket you want to keep your stuff in a good parts tray um, but if you don't know how a choke mechanism works it's basically cutting off airflow so right here it's fully open it's letting all the air into the carburetor and that's fully closed let some air in but not tons so and then from here disconnect fuel lines you want to take a picture of these because you don't want to mix these up um, and then there'll be some throttle linkage somewhere in here i'll have to find it and then you should be able to just pull this carburetor off a pair of pliers or a screwdriver help getting them lines off try not to tear them up though okay so right up in there is the throttle you can see as i move this carburetor it moves the throttle as well because it's getting pulled away so i think i can just take this all the way off this carburetor and just take it that throttle arm out of that linkage here it's just a z-bend so you can turn carburetor and pop it off okay i ended up pulling the side cover just to get to this linkage it's a bit easier just happened to be four torx uh bolts um, it's pretty easy. Um, these happen to be a Torx T25, which if you don't know what a Torx bolt is, it's just a star shape. Um, but from here, you know, it's a lot easier to disconnect this linkage. So, um, that'll help out quite a bit. What I had to end up, end up doing was slide this trigger off. So, sat on there like this. Um, but it just slid off and then I could just pop the linkage through, uh, not that carb, where, oh, this is this carb. Um, and it's still on this carb. Uh, if you want, you can disconnect or you can take a picture of the linkage before you disconnect it, but it's pretty easy to figure out. Um, this just has a 90 degree bend on it to go on this trigger. This carb has a Z bend on there it's pretty easy to figure out if you got a cable it's even easier to take this off you just uh move the linkage or the yeah the linkage on the carburetor with your hand and just slide the cable out through a there'll be a hole or something but yeah it's pretty easy you also have a gasket right here on your intake between the carb and this plastic manifold just want to pop that off Okay, so now you want to pop your fuel line fuel filter out i would clean up the area first so you don't get dirt in the tank but it's just a rubber seal you can just pry on it with a screwdriver then uh, pop it out so obviously just press your filter on that's how the old ones were and then pop it into the tank uh you might have to you know squeeze it you know put one end in first use a screwdriver pry the other end in it's rubber it'll work just don't tear it up so forgot to almost forgot to mention you want to keep your gasket surfaces clean but also you'll notice there's a hole in this intake and on this engine side of the carburetor there's a hole right here you want to make sure you line up the gasket right get it set on there right now these gaskets are kind of universal so they might have multiple holes in them but this one um, you just line up that hole slide it on this one has no holes so that'll go on your air filter side. Reconnect your uh, fuel lines, throttle linkage. And then uh, there's a single hole here. And this gasket doesn't have one, but let's see if this air intake has one on there. It doesn't seem to have one, so I think we're good to just set it on there. 
Okay, so now you want to get this all put back together. Make sure everything's still working good. Figure it out later. I didn't even need to pull that bolt out. Um, so now, um, I'm just choking it just for now, just to, for a cold start. Um, what's nice about weed eater, uh, blower carbs, you can prime it till there's fuel in here. Um, you don't have to roll it over a bunch of times to get fuel into the engine like a, you know, like a, I don't know, something without a primer or an accelerator pump. Um, but now you can take your air filter, set it in there. I'm actually going to put some air filter oil on this first and then set it in there, throw it back together and then uh, see if it runs.